Hello everyone, so I have just, well not just, I've not long got home from shopping which I got some stuff for my clown makeup video and I did go back into bed because I was tired and then I have just currently peeled off the prosthetic with powder so it's like loose and I've just super glued the teeth back into place and there is a mess on the floor so today I bought some clear nail varnish to coat the teeth with on the clown and I've also bought some white sheet stuff which I'm going to be making like frill kind of thing to go around the neck of my clown thing makeup so yep I am going to be doing that I've got powder all over my face I'm going to be doing that today now and then tomorrow I'll probably apply the clown <laughs> makeup When I went out today, I looked for a green wig, like an afro, because I see red on many clowns, and I just thought I'd go for green, but I couldn't see any afro wigs, not even green, not even red, like nothing, there was nothing, and only green, so I don't know what to do. I mean, I've had some hair chalks for my birthday, so I thought about maybe I could just like chalk up my hair, but I don't know. So I've just took some yellow food colouring and I've just discovered just painting it like on the teeth like makes them look really yellow I mean obviously yellow food colouring would but I like it. And then I'm just like blotting it with tissue. So I put my flash on for this, but I've just coated it all in some clear nail varnish to make them shiny because I don't care if you're a clown or a zombie and you have nasty yellow teeth, they better be shiny. <laughs> I probably will add like black and brown into them and they'll probably get covered in fake blood anyway. But yeah, this is it. And ignore all this like yellow like here, it'll be covered up. Duh. <laughs> layers of the sheets I am gathering them all together and pulling the needle through which is hard to do with one hand out but I'm pulling the needle through and then I'm going to gather it all and this is going to be a frill for around my neck so I've just gathered all of that together and it looks like this and I've cut it so it's got layers and I'm just beginning to tear it up and make it look warm and stuff so this is it on and I've like ripped it loads and stuff and I'm just gonna go splatter it and look how curly my hair is I've made my hair really curly today because I couldn't find that green wig so I think I'm just gonna like spray my hair green or something probably paint it with face paint so I'm just gonna Splatter fake blood and dirt and brown face paint and probably rub it on grass and stuff to make it dirty and then I'm going to start applying the makeup. So I just went and picked up some more things for this so I'm going to be reusing this from my zombie video. I'm just going to button it up and then wear this around my neck and I've just got a party hat and then I've just got my camera and phone charger 
and I'm gonna go make this dirty, set up all of this and begin. Okay, so I've just finished that and there's grass stains and all nasty on there. And now I'm going to begin applying the makeup. I think I'm gonna paint my hair green off camera and then go from there. So as you can tell I've just done a light green like wash on my hair because my hair's dark anyway so I don't want it to be vibrant because it's gonna be like a dirty clown and it's still a bit wet but there's like a green hint to my hair and just I cut it on my forehead and then push all my hair out my face because it's still wet so I don't want colour on my forehead and now I'm finally ready to start so yeah I've got my prosthetic here and I'm just going to set up the lighting and tables and I'll see who when I've probably applied some of the prosthetic so I began applying the prosthetics and this top one has like dried and it's on you can see I like glued it to my hair but I have a method of getting latex out of hair which I'll show you at the end of this video and I'm now waiting for the bottom bit to dry so I can apply the bottom layer so I've now applied the bottom part and it's dry and now I'm working on making the nose because I was going to use this which I made to look like a torn off nose but I'm now going to like pull it and make it look like how I did on my blister tutorial where it looks ripped off. and I'll leave it for about 20 minutes and then comb through it and wash it out and it's gone thank you for watching this little behind the scenes video guys if you like this video and want to see more things like this be sure to let me know in the comments like share subscribe to all of that stuff for this and maybe we can do it again or it could be less of the behind the scenes and more how I make like the costumes and just little things that I do behind the actual makeup tutorial video just let me know and I will see what you think and yep I'll see you soon goodbye <laughs>